What's up guys, Matthias here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a 2D explosion with multiple types of 2D shapes. Before we get into the tutorial, please hit that like button. Let's get right into the tutorial. So before we begin, uh, let's get a new project by pressing Ctrl N. I'm just gonna call it explosion. Uh, I like my projects uh, 1920 by 1080. If you want something else, that's totally up to you. Uh, just start off by getting a polygon tool, make the fill none, and get the strokes just wider, whatever color you'd prefer. Just press shift and then you would have this layer. Press ctrl alt home to center the anchor point or whatever way you do it. Then uh, just center the shape. Let's get into the uh, paw and make this around 75. This is basically the main shape we're going to be working with but I'm gonna make it a, a square and if you change this shape uh, just center it again everything. I think 50 is good and let's make this 8 instead of 10. Now let's copy this a few times. I think this will do and press P for position set a keyframe and go around 3 seconds in. Now just start moving these Start moving these all around your um, composition. And we just have enough shapes to fill it all up. Uh, what we're going to do now is the rotation. Just select all of them again. Press R for rotation and let's go back to the three second and just make every single one of them different uh, make them a lot because in the beginning uh, you won't really see it that good make some uh, really small and some really big some a bit in the middle Okay, so now we have all of these and let's do the uh, size by pressing S for scale. Make all of them 25 in the beginning and again go back to the 3 seconds and again just do a bit random. Okay, so now we have all of these shapes, and uh, let's start moving some a bit closer, others a bit further. Okay, so now we basically have most of uh, the explosion done. What we're going to do now is uh, make the F curves. So just press U to see all of the keyframes and select all of them press f9 go right here and go to speed graph select all of these and drag them all the way over here and this one drag this one all the way over here and now you will have a pretty cool looking explosion i think it should start with a bit um more like a bit uh bigger because you don't really see the explosion so just make it start by 50 instead of 20 and then you can see explosion so what we're go going to do now is we are going to um make every single one uh we're going to ma make some uh stri triangle some uh, keep a square, some an octagon, you know. So basically select all of them and type uh, right here points. And just start changing a few. Something you can do is make this really big and then it will look like a circle. So 
So we're almost done. So now you have all of these different shapes and it makes a really nice explosion. If you'd want to, you could make uh, these all move a bit further away, but I actually like this one a lot. So let's close this all back up. And there you have it, this is your explosion. Another thing uh, I like to do is just select a few and change the uh, stroke to just the color of the intro and now you have a really diverse sort of explosion. So there you have it guys, be sure to hit that like button if you learned something. I'm trying to upload daily, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a nice day.